All right, so we got a special guest here today. We got Rick Webb. Give us a little intro about yourself, buddy. Okay, so I'm Rick, um, 36, uh, married, five kids. Um, yeah. I, we don't have a TV at home. It's, uh, <laughs> no, so yeah, married, five kids, um, family man, first and foremost. <laughs> so I was uh, military. I was in the British Army for 14 years. Um, long story short, I guess, uh, I didn't look where I was going, and I stood on a, an IED, so a, la- a landmine roadside bomb, in Afghanistan in 2012, uh, subsequently losing my left leg above the knee, uh, broken hip, some uh, twisted pelvis, a uh, little mutton Jeff in my left ear and mm. a little bit of a sort of like well, nerve damage throughout sort of like my left, my left leg and my lower back. Um, and then a little bit of a head injury thrown into good measure. So that was back in 2012. Fast forward to where I am right now. Um, I'm a full-time golfer, full-time content creator. So I play on mm. the disability European tour. Yeah. Uh, so it's, called, it's Edgar, E-D-G-A. Um, it's basically, it's, just, it's a European tour for all kinds of disabilities, and you get cat- categorized into like, amputees and such, and you know, whatever else it might be. Yeah, yeah. Essentially, from that, you can actually catapult yourself to like pro golf. Mm. So that's where I'm at right now, is I'm looking to try and get that pro car to, to get out there and play some uh, G4D events, which is essentially DP World Tour. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Um, and just documenting that whole thing. So living that YouTube golfer life, I guess. Dude, yeah. you're a bad... Okay, like I knew... Like, I, I've seen your page, but I didn't know all that shit. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> what the hell? You're a badass. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I kind of... I guess, like, obviously, it's obvious that I'm an amputee, right? I don't... I mean, I laugh about it, and I, I put videos out about it and stuff, but I guess I haven't really done a video of uh, explaining exactly how that happened sure um, yeah. so a few people have messaged me and like, like i assume that you're military and i guess i kind of uh, do you know i get a lot of um people assume i'm ex-us army uh i guess mm-hmm. just the way i look i guess i don't know it's always like the the cat the yeah. beard and whatever so one of my dogs coming in <laughs> no problem <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so I don't know, maybe I should maybe I should do something like that and, and sort of like an intro to who I am. But yeah, so I was I was uh I was military. I joined when I was 17. Um I was joined when I was 17. Uh I went to Iraq in 2007, uh fighting a good fight over there for six months, and then Afghanistan in 2012. Um yeah, and that's where that's where I kind of I, I don't say it all went wrong because it, it didn't. Uh, actually, like without that happening, I wouldn't be sat where I am right now. You yeah. know, I wouldn't have met, wouldn't have met my wife. I wouldn't have the, the children we have, and I wouldn't be. Well, I wouldn't be sat here talking to you guys. I'd be doing something random. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is all was supposed to happen. Yep, <laughs> just to end Absolutely. up here with us. Like, yep. Yeah, I'm yep. a firm believer in everything happens for a reason. Sat here in front of you two beautiful gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, and your most recent Absolutely. child is only a few months old, right? You just had it. Yeah, she's four months. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow! Congrats! Oh, no congrats, shit. Thanks, nice. man. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Uh, I'm having I'm having a snip. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, after, I don't. Even, I can barely wipe my own ass, so I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Did it with five of them? Holy crap! Five. Yeah. 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 Damn. Yeah. So she's four months. So it's um like with the other kids, I missed a lot of stuff where I was away so much. Sure. You know, um, even when I was discharged. For, so I was medically discharged back in uh, September 2018. After that, um, I kind of floated around for a little bit, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Um, back and forth of hospital, having surgeries, and then going off for, for rehab at the military hospital and stuff like that. And then, I don't know if you saw in the news, when the Taliban like took back Afghanistan, it was quite a big mm-hmm, deal, yeah, right? yeah. certainly for the US and the UK. Um and a friend of mine asked, like, could I help him out with some some stuff that was going on over there? So I was like, yeah, sound, you know, I've got nothing else going on. I'll, 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 I'll help you out. And very quickly that escalated to me, um, started up my own intelligence and security company. So then I was working in the Middle East, like Afghanistan, Pakistan, various other countries there. And then 
when Ukraine like kicked off, ten days later, I find myself in in Ukraine, you know, doing some stuff, uh, working alongside like the US, the UK, uh, various sort of elements of the of the government and the MOD and the DOD and that sort of stuff, and got some really really good friends over there in the US that. Um, I've worked with over the years through the military and like the intelligence services and stuff, but also golf. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of time for America, a lot of time for America. That's so I've got crazy. Through, yeah, yeah so mad, some mad stuff went on for a long time. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, and like the whole, U- the whole Ukraine thing, like my, my wife said that like, when I got home, that's kind of enough's enough. Like I'm like a moth to a flame for a war zone. You've got to, Stop being a fucking douchebag and uh, <laughs> do, do, do something that's fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you got five kids and you got a wife. You got you got a life yeah. to worry about. Yeah, I get absolutely, it. Absolutely, mate. Yeah, and yeah, she's absolutely right. So, like, it was uh, uh, about nine months ago. Just said like, Mal, no more. Like, I, I just I put I, well. You never really out of the military and you're never really out of that sort of uh it's not special forces in that like the, the community's the same so like i did a lot of stuff with those guys and a lot of stuff with the agencies related to them so like, i spent a lot of time in uh various places in london and that nice sort of stuff but mm-hmm. so you can't really like just leave because somebody's always going to message you or email you saying oh can you just hook me up with with this or or with that but I made the decision to to stop doing that and just focus full time on um, trying to be a full time golfer and full time content content creator, like a million miles away from what I was doing. Yeah, when was it that you started to really kind of get into golf? Like, have you been playing like your whole life, or was it kind of after that? Like, when, when so did you just when, start when golfing? Start playing golf? Did you say? Yeah. Like, when did you start? Like, how did you get into it? Like, have you been playing like when you were younger, or like? So I, I was avid uh, footballer, so as in like mm-hmm. as in soccer. Yeah. Um, for my whole life, uh, I played for the army. I played for like the regiment, and uh, I played weekend football. I was all about the football, and golf was always sort of there, but I didn't I didn't really take it seriously. So I might have played like once or twice in a full year, something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then this happened in Afghanistan, and I was at. Uh, it's called Headley Court, which is like um, what we read, but the English, the UK version, right? Um, and this guy was around there trying to get these, get us injured veterans into into golf and use that as a rehab tool and a, and a way of helping with your recovery. So I was like, yeah, fuck it, I'll give it a go. Go down the driving range, <laughs> and smack some balls. And it was like, okay, this is this is fucking cool. I'm, I'm I reckon I can do this. So that would have been like 2015, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah, and since then, I've I've been doing it on and off, and really, like, I've had to go back into hospital to have more revision surgery on my leg, or yeah, or like my my hand that's pretty messed up, and then various other bits where I've then had to stop playing for like three to six months at a time just because of not being able to wear my leg or, or anything like that. Yeah. So really solid trying to make something of it i'd say about a year i've been really smashing it really like practicing and doing everything i need to do like with my day will revolve around some form of practice basically yeah, pretty sweet yeah we we're i mean we were watching your clips and stuff obviously like um you know trying to be the professionals that we are uh did your swing is sick <laughs> yeah. like i it's so impressive the way that like you can like the way that you're able to hit the golf ball like it's just it's it's nuts i'm like you got a better swing than probably both of us and i'm like holy shit like this is this is <laughs> sick uh, it's p- pure fluke man pure fluke. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks uh, it's it's a grind it is a grind but like it's just figuring out how to effectively use what what i have available with like the limited mobility exactly, yeah. um, absolutely i've got a great coach as well like shout out neil williams um i've got a great <laughs> coach that, that helps me with that and i think it's just having that uh like determination to go and 
Mm -hmm. I like to prove people wrong as well. So like, if someone says Hell you can't yeah. do that, I'm like, oh, Hell yeah. I'll, do it, I'll do it twice, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hell yeah. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's just trying to keep that consistent, which is obviously even people with two legs is difficult. Golf is fucking hard. Right. Yeah. 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 But that's why we like it. Right? That's why we love it. Yeah, absolutely. So when was it that you really started your YouTube channel then? Because that's, that's really grown quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, so um, it's been there in the background since 2021. Um, okay. I want to say like January 21, but I didn't do anything with it for other than just watch stuff. Yeah. Um, so I think I want to say May, May last year was when I really thought, right, let's put something up. Let's just mm -hmm. throw some shorts out there or whatever. So yeah, May is when I started that. So coming on a year and we've gotten to, come on, We've gotten to just shy of 1,900 subs on there. Wow. And yeah. Awesome. 760,000 views, something like that. So 55,000 views, something like that. So it's going Hell well. Hell yeah. Yeah. Going well. Cool. And you're working on, I saw you post just the other day, you're working on building a whole simulator now too, right? Yeah. So the guy that is on the channel with me, Jack. Yeah. Uh, he's, mm -hmm. my, he's my best friend from the, from the army. Um. And I kind of like pulled him in. We always play golf together. I was like, well, I'm doing yeah. this. You're fucking coming with me. Like, <laughs> get on this channel or something. Right. So, and I just somehow managed to convince him to, to spend like 20 grand on all this kit. And then <laughs> me and him and my dad are building a simulator in his back garden. That's so cool. Awesome. It's going to so be like literally, literally be from cool. the ground up with this huge yeah. brick building. And then, uh, so if there's any, uh, any, like Foresight Europe, any any simulators out there want to give us free shit? Hit me up. Yeah. <laughs> That's expensive. Literally. Hook the man up. Yeah, yeah I, know. I can't even. I think is what is it? Amazon that you can buy a simulator for like twenty grand, and they'll just like yeah, it'll like deliver to you. Like shipping it's crate. So yeah. stupid. We we were looking at. Uh, so I mean, I did reach out to Foresight Europe, and um, they didn't say no. So I'm um, just waiting for someone <laughs> to come back to me and say like, what sort of support they're going to offer. So, I mean, yeah. it could be something as small as like a laser range finder, or they could say, here's a GC quad, go and have some fun, lads. But who knows? You're in a, yeah. you're in a good spot, though, too. Like, I mean, say in the instance that they send you like a range finder or something like that, you utilize it on a channel that's growing so rapidly and you're dropping it all the time. They pay attention to that stuff and they're like, oh, yeah. okay, you know, you know, this guy's got something maybe. All right, here's a simulator. Let's, let's make a whole video on it. <laughs> Who knows? It, it, mate, yeah. exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm here for I'm here for it. There you go. So you've been able to play any golf recently? I don't know how far north you are over there, but like we're still dealing with winter and waiting for spring to get out playing here. It's not been great. It's been um, it's been pretty wet. So mm -hmm. since I got back from Portugal, uh, like mid January, I haven't been out on the golf course. Yeah, it's been dog shit. So I've had to go. I mean, it sounds terrible, doesn't it? I've had to go to the driving range, but like, oh, it's, um, what a tragedy! Yeah. <laughs> Shit, yeah. So that's all we've been able to do. So, I've, uh, what are we on the 18th, right? So, mm -hmm. I've got some good stuff coming up uh, next month before I go in for surgery. I'll, like, I'm going for surgery next. Uh, sorry, April. So, yeah, I've got some stuff coming up um, in some big courses here, which is good. Um, filming with so filming in spain hopefully as well in the next couple of weeks and filming cool. so with uh, i don't know if you've seen him that matt travis swig golf mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so me and matt have been getting some bits done together that's so cool be good yeah yeah i'll be good he's a he's a nice guy and he's uh he's making some noise in the youtube golf space so oh, gonna jump on that jump on that train while it's there <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah absolutely you know absolutely yeah so um, it's still terrible weather where you are then i take it Oh yeah, it's it's yeah, it's just cold. Not as much uh, snow as normal, but yeah, eh, yeah, just too cold, and the the ground stays wet. We just long. had because uh, we quite literally live in the snowiest place in America, uh, so we average <laughs> yeah, literally. Uh, but, I mean this this winter, knock on wood, has been completely mild, but we yeah, we're behind. I think TJ said it. We're like earlier. Um, when we were talking about it, we're behind an average snowfall by like six or seven feet. Like wow. it's we we yeah. get <laughs> normally no it's like probably ten feet or so a, a uh, season. A season, and so we're Jeez. way behind, but it's still yeah, 
it's nice because it's like that spring golf could come earlier. Ideally, things yeah. are drying up. Sometimes we get out and play in March. On some years, other years it's April, but mm-hmm. we'll yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. That's not the fun part of this place. It's it that that part blows. That's that's where you want to be in California, right? Where you can just play golf uh, all the time. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.